Hello everyone, um, back again. As you've seen by the title, I'm getting ready to paint some wheels. These are the front wheels off my 1991 Nissan Pathfinder that's out there on jack stands. Um, paint's coming off. I had painted these wheels when I got them. They were used. Um, paint started coming off on these things because I didn't do a good job prep wise and, and then I also buried this thing in the mud really really bad but it took about five hours to get us out of there. It was like clay type nasty lake mud. Um, but it ended up taking the paint off of my wheels and I've already done the back ones. I did that a long time ago, about a year ago. But it's time to do the front ones. So I'm stripping the old paint off and I'm using my four and a half inch Makita grinder with the, the wire brush cup attachment. You know, it's got the twisted, the twisted wires on there. Um, originally they looked like this with the rivets being exposed where they were just the brush aluminum that were taped off. I'm going to just go full black. No, I don't want to mess with it. These wheels are going to eventually get replaced, hopefully by the end of the year. Um, so anyway, um, even if you're doing this to, to wheels that weren't previously painted, you're going to want to take something like this to, to rough up the surface. Take your time. Don't cut into the tire. You don't need to remove the wheel for this. Um, you don't need to spend an excessive amount of time painting them either. I'll show you a really quick, easy way to essentially mask off the area so you don't paint your tire. Um, so I'll be showing you all that. I'll talk to you guys in a second as soon as I'm finished cleaning up these wheels and we'll get this all prepped up and, and ready to paint. All right, talk to you guys in a minute. Talk to okay. you guys in a minute. Got the wheels all cleaned up. Um, still a little bit of paint right here around the valve stem. There's not a lot I can do about that other than scratch it off with like a, I don't know, something metal. Um, I will try to attempt to, to scuff that up even if it's just with some sandpaper. Um, I just don't want to ruin the valve stems with that, that wire brush on the Makita grinder. That'll take that rubber off of there in no time and then I've got other problems. So. Um, they came out real clean. Obviously, I didn't do down in the in the holes. But I'm just like I said. I'm gonna rough that up with some sandpaper and clean it up real good, both wheels, and and then paint them. Um, as far as the the outside, you know, the the surface it's all shiny now. The reason why. It, I felt it was important to take it all the way down to the metal instead of just roughing it up like I'm going to do in those holes or around the valve stems is because you're going to see the transition in the between the different layers of, of paint. Um, with it down in the holes or around the valve stem it's not as crucial because it's not going to be that noticeable um, whereas everywhere else it will be. So that's why I did it and they actually they're shining like all hell right now which is kind of cool. Um, who knows, maybe maybe down the road I'll do it again, I'll strip them clean and, and maybe polish them and, and use them for something something completely different. I do know one of the wheels that I have on the back is slightly bent, so that's, that's part of the reason why this is just a temporary deal. But, I don't know, maybe I'll send it out and, and get it straightened out and then clean these wheels up really, really well. Strip them completely and, and polish them up. Maybe, maybe throw them on the rock crawler that I'm going to build, who knows. Um, or just for trailer wheels, make it work for that as well. Anyway, um, let me clean these up. I'm just going to use some acetone and, and a rag and, and wipe these things clean and we'll get to painting them. Talk to you okay later. everyone, um, got all the wheels cleaned up. Again, just basically, just use some basic acetone. Um, nothing special. Here's what I'm going to do to protect my tires. I've got a bunch of index cards. Get these from pretty much any regular store for dirt cheap. This is what you do. It's about as simple as it can get. Just tuck them in around the, on, around the wheel, just like that. I actually like this better than tape because it gives you a, 
a much cleaner line because of the way the cards kind of lean away from the wheel. You don't have to do anything as far as tape removal is concerned. As soon as you spray this stuff, just pull the index cards out or leave them in. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. There you go, just like that. Doesn't get much easier than this, I'll tell you that. Taping these off will take me a lot of time. And this takes me all but maybe five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, I don't know. Boom, I'm done. So, Again, I'm just going to use this Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel. Bought it at AutoZone. Um, it's what I had on there to begin with. And that's what I'm going to do now. So, I'll talk to you guys in a second. got to shake up this paint and get it ready. Okay, here we go. You don't want to do too heavy of a a first coat, but you definitely want to get the whole thing so you don't leave any weird lines. Make sure you don't forget the, the area where the hub sits. Normally I would mask off the bell stems, but because I'm using black paint, as long as I got my, my valve cap on there, I'm not too too concerned with that. And unless you're doing this in a completely dust-free environment, which my shop is not, you're going to get some dust on these. Um, this is the first coat. For those who aren't familiar with spray painting, always put your can upside down after you're done. And let it spray upside down. What that does is it helps to clear out the paint out of the nozzle, then wipe the tip clean it should avoid it clogging up. So, I'm going to stop for now. Um, once I finish the final coat, I'll start the video again and show you guys what it looks like. So, see you guys in a second. Okay everyone, um, I got about four coats of paint on here now, so I'm just going to go ahead. I just applied my last coat. I'm going to go ahead and remove these cards. You can see how well they actually work.
Done. Um, I can see that I already have a little bit of a run on one of them. And that's because I'm kind of rushing through applying coats. They look a million times better than they did, so no overspray at all on those tires. None at all. What you're seeing here is a scuff from the wire wheel that I was cleaning up the wheel with. No scuffs. I mean, no, no overspray whatsoever on either one of them. Some dust. Like I said, this one, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's a run right there. You can't really see it. but And that's why I'm not going to worry about it. You know, this again, this truck is built to go off-roading. I don't want the wheels to look like complete crap, but a little bit of a run is not going to bother me. So, now I'm just going to let them sit and dry. Um, it's about midnight. I'm going to go inside and do some work on the computer. Maybe play some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And come back out here in about two hours or so and put them back on the truck. Um, I could just leave them, sit, leave them sit in here overnight, but I don't know. I don't know. I might change my mind and I might just let them sit overnight. We'll see. But for sure they're going to sit for about two hours and then we'll see where I'm going to go from there. So that's it. Thanks for watching. You know, as always, subscribe, comment, like. Um, be sure to check out alvarezmetalworks.com. That's my website. Um, if you're looking at this video on, on my website, go subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. The link's above. And for both, depending on where you're watching it, head over to my Facebook page. The link's either on my website or on my YouTube homepage. Go to my Facebook page, like the page. And send me a message if you've got any questions. Comment if you've got any questions. This method works great. And the paint lasts as long as you do as long as you do some good prep work, the paint the paint will last and, and give you a decent finish. So thanks for watching and talk to you guys later.